Oh, bro, if you ever want to know why I get annoyed sometimes, this is it. I just literally spent like 45 minutes sat here talking about everything only to realize I'm not recording. Oh, that, that sums up the day, man. That really does sum up the day. Okay, let's speed it up and let's recap what I just said. Oh, that is it. That's frustrating, that. Basically, there's a probably a few of you sat at home thinking, why is this guy that I subscribe to uploading benchmarks? I don't care, bro. So the point is, Gears 5 is kind of like viewed by a certain amount of people, and those certain people stick to their certain people. Like, I'm sure if you watch me, you might watch a few others. You might be a rare Gears fan that watches everyone. But basically, if you're in the mood to watch a bit of Gears, you might tune into my video and then be like, right, I've had my Gears fix. I'm not going to search anyone else. People don't really search Gears. The only time it was searched was at the beginning where people were looking it up and that's why I got some traction on my channel. People were searching Gears 5, then they found the dev videos and the balance videos and then they found the skill video and that's where it... That's kind of how it happened. Um... Since, you know, Gears hasn't been as popular this year, it's really dropped off. And basically, I've kind of got a core audience of people that will tune in to watch me play Gears. But ultimately, it hasn't grown. In fact, I think in the last six months, so think of all, uh, look at my channel and think of all the videos I've uploaded in six months. I think I've legit gained 12 subscribers. The tactics month where I spent so much time doing tactics videos i actually lost like 200 subscribers so overall for like six months it's been like n literally no gain so that's pretty hard i recently watched um raw um and he said that he'd had his best month ever on youtube in a long time and he gained 500 subs and he's like thirty thousand subs a much bigger channel than me so it's not like you know, it's not like YouTube Gears grows massively. Like, Shadows is the biggest YouTuber, right? And he does, like, searchable content. Like, people will actually look up skins. So not only does he have his own audience, he'll also have people looking up the skin. And I don't want to say his numbers because I'm not accurate on him, but I feel like he's been close to 100k for a long time. And he hasn't reached it yet because, unfortunately, for Shadows and other people, like... Gears is so hard to grow in, and it's a phenomenal job. He's, he's made it to that figure. Like, people can laugh at him and say, oh, skin videos, but it's it's phenomenal that someone from the Gears scene has made it to that level, and that's only a good thing. So people, like, what people don't understand is, is if... So people don't want skin videos, and I'll rag on them, but I just rag on them for a laugh. I, the skin videos are actually a very important part of, like, a, a game's ecosystem, I'm getting pinged on my phone. And it, it, if it, people need to understand that like, people need people to be successful to grow. Does that not like make sense? Like if everyone in the, like this is what's so odd about gears. If everyone in the gear scene was getting no views and not doing well, it wouldn't exist. People, you need people to do well. It would be fantastic if Raw, Shadows, other people got loads and loads of views because then other people come into the scene that might trickle down to you. Like, I think people, yeah, they they get it twisted. Like, they think, oh, skin videos are ruining the game, blah, blah, blah. They're not. They need to be there. Like, if, if Shadows or whoever wasn't making a skin video... Somebody else would make it. Like, people make League of Legends skin videos every single day. That doesn't mean they're selling out. It's just a piece of content that people want to watch. So, I've started making some watchable content because no one's tuning into my long-form Gears videos, like new people, understandably, because you're never going to search that. You're never going to search some balance wine. And because you're not searching Gears 5 anymore, you're never going to come across it. So I've been making benchmark videos because for one, I've just got my new PC set up and I actually want to do it. Like I actually want to set the PC up and see how everything runs. Um, and two, you know, it, you know, it's interesting for me and people will search it. For example, this month's my best month on YouTube in a long, long time. And I haven't really uploaded any Gears 5. And some of my benchmark videos have taken like 
literally about 12 hours to make and then about six hours to upload like the cod video i just did and they d because it took so long to upload it doesn't even make it into the sub box right it's just kind of how youtube works if you want to know how youtube works when people say ring the bell that's because if you don't ring the bell youtube doesn't notify you of, of all videos it basically waits for a good video to send to you. And a good video is determined by how many likes, comments, and, and interactions it gets in like the first few hours. So basically, if I don't get a lot of interaction in the first few hours of a video, which typically it's not going to happen because I my audience is spread over a different lots of different countries and time zones, then nothing gets promoted. So it's very hard to grow. So... I'm not saying I'm going to sit here and do benchmark videos forever because I'm completely not. But at the moment, I've been doing a few videos because one, I want to test it for myself. And two, some people do search it. Like I'll get 3,000 views on a Dota 2 or a, a Cyberpunk benchmark. Having no audience in that region, I have no tech viewers. My, P my audience isn't really PC and I've still got 3K views. That's more than any Gears video I've made in, a, in about six months, you know. Um... You know, if you want to think of some figures, in six months, I have lost about 12 subscribers. So think of all the videos and all of the streams and all of the hours of content I've done in six months, and I haven't gained anything. Um, so that's an idea of, like, why sometimes I switch it up. And generally, I'm not really enjoying Gears. Like, I, it has its moments. Sometimes it's super fun, and sometimes it's really not. But it it's... It's exactly what I said it would be. Eventually, it would become a solid little game. It'll never be the game I expect it to be. It'll still have its bugs, its netcode, its whatever, and it'll be a pick-up-and-play shooter that sometimes you can go on for an hour and have a blast, and sometimes you'll play it for an hour and have an awful time. It's just a pick-up-and-play casual shooter. That's what it is. People don't want to hear it, but that's what it is, and it's worse because it's a casual shooter without the massive casual fan base. So it's like a casual shooter with a hardcore fan base, which is just a disaster show. Um... But yeah, that's that's why I'm explaining this. If you're a member, so if you're a YouTube member, if you've hit that join button, um, YouTube Premium is free. So if you get a free month, you can sub to me. I have member-specific videos like this where I kind of chat to you more honestly. Uh, I just figured I'd post this to the main channel to explain. Um, but um, yeah, that's kind of why I've been making some different content. Gears just gives me no buzz at the moment. It just gives me completely no buzz. Um, let me just end this recording. Yeah, sorry. It gives me, like, no buzz at the moment. Um, so, um, it's, it's hard to, you know, get up and absolutely motivate you to do a super high energetic stream and video. Why is my camera so dark? Because, um... It's just not there at the moment, like, unfortunately, I guess for me and you. Um, but, you know, um, it's, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's, it's a bit difficult right now to make Gears content, um, especially as somebody that doesn't really do searchable content. So I'm kind of expanded my content just a little bit for a for maybe a month or two just to do some videos that might bring some traction to the channel it's not about like oh screw gears or anything like that i'm still gonna play gears but and i basically need a break like making content on the same game for an entire year plus um is pretty draining when you're a channel like mine when most of the stuff is negative like I know this sounds bad, like I'm not I'm not having a go at you, the viewers, because I do it as well, but I obviously don't have the most positive community about Gears 5, right? We've all got the same issues with it. So when I stream, I generally get people coming into the stream asking me, hey, does Gears still suck? And then they'll watch me and they'll be like, that was bullshit, that sucked, this sucked. And it's basically like five hours of negativity. And then I'll make a video and then the comments will all be like, yeah, it sucks. And I get that because that's my channel, but it is quite draining to basically have negativity for like a full year plus. 
and for a few months I'd, or a few weeks or whatever it may be, I just want to make some videos that are a bit more positive and fun and just enjoy myself. Look, if that means playing Call of Duty on stream and having no viewers, then, you know, so be it. But you're going to get a better experience watching me have fun than you are watching me think, mm, I better sign in and make a Gears 5 video just because. I don't want to make videos just because. Um, I want to make videos because they need to be there and there's a reason for them. Like a benchmark video, I've got the hardware that other people don't have. I can run the game and provide something that you can't do, right? Or someone else can't do. So when I did the Gears original five videos, the Gears five videos, I was like, I've played Gears for a long time. I'm going to analyze it like no one else is doing. I can provide something here that is needed or is different, right? Whereas the past few months, I've just been like in this middle ground of just not knowing what to do. Um, so that's kind of the way it is. Um, it, you know, that's kind of the way it is. The benchmark videos take a long ass time to do, boys. <laughs> they take so long to do. For example, um, if you want to look at what I'm doing right now, um, which is kind of interesting slash not, not interesting, I guess, for some people. But um, what they are is when I do a benchmark video, um, <laughs> They take, I guess, as long as the benchmark takes, which is like right now I'm running a 1440p medium setting benchmark with my tools on the left-hand side. And I figured out how to do the minimum, maximum, average frame rates, etc. And this is a 20-minute file. So the six, the six quality settings and three resolutions. So there's 18 things I need to run. And they each take 20 minutes. So basically 10 lots would be... 200 minutes give you know there's probably about four to five hundred minutes there that's looking at about six six plus hours of just recording then i need to analyze the footage and have a chat about it then i need to edit it and voice it and then i need to upload it for about eight hours and pray it hits the sub box and then i need to pray not only does it hit the sub box that within the first few hours it gets a lot of likes and comments Otherwise, YouTube won't promote it. And then the whole thing was worthless. <laughs> so if you ever want to know what YouTube is like, that is what it's like, boys. Um, I enjoy it, but it's not. Like, people think you just press upload and it's just easy. Like, you, it, it, it's, it's not like that at all. Um, but it is what it is. So that's, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I enjoy it. I just at the moment just want to take a, a, a like it kind of like happened like I got COVID it, it, I, I did those tactics videos and I really pushed myself to do a four months content whilst feeling very ill that was not a smart idea but um, I got all those videos out and I actually lost about 200 subscribers which was very fucking demotivating um, and then um, still, it's hard to explain, but I just still have no smell. Things still taste weird, and it's pretty depressing. It really is. Um, it's really hard to motivate myself at the moment to do anything, like, out of my way. Like, it's, I don't know what time it is now. I've been up since, like, seven benchmarking. It's coming up to lunch I think and man it's I feel knackered man it's so difficult and people will laugh listen to this my friend is a marathon runner he runs about 10k every two days and he was relentlessly falling asleep he couldn't even stay awake Lewis Hamilton and if you don't know because maybe you don't follow Formula One like me Lewis Hamilton recently got COVID, right? And a Formula One driver is the fittest sportsman on the planet. You might think, what? He sits in a car? If you ever see fitness tests, Formula One drivers are either winning everything or at the almost the very top. They're some of the fittest sports people on the planet. And 
he basically had COVID, recovered, had all the best medical care in the world, and did a race and basically said he felt disgusting, like the worst he's ever felt. And that's an incredibly fit human being. Like, depending on what version of this quote COVID you get, it wrecks you. And I still feel very fucking tired. Um, I, I, I feel awful at times. Um, I'm really hoping it goes away. It's picked up a bit, like I feel a bit better, but I still feel like there's, like there's no buzz in me. Um, so that is what I'm doing for a few weeks, for a few months, or I don't know, whatever it may be. It might be a couple days. I'm doing some benchmark videos and I'm doing some other type of videos that are searchable because... You know, I'm hoping you support me. Like, I'm hoping you're not just here for Gears 5. And I'm hoping, like, you're here to support me, which I believe you are. There's so many nice supporters out there. So if you could help me with the likes and the comments on the new videos, it's not about me going, lol, I'm ditching Gears, fuck you. It's about saying, like, the channel could grow and it could be even better, you know? Um, So, that is the... That is the sort of game plan, I guess, to make a bit more searchable content. Because, yeah, there's no traction on the channel. And I want to make... So let me know what kind of content you search up or are interested in. And that you don't really find. Or you'd like to see more of. Um, but I'm going to get back to benchmarking this. Hopefully the video will do alright. Um, hopefully it won't take... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think. I've lost my train of thought. But yeah, that's kind of my explanation. If you want these more honest face-to-face -face chats, they're available as a member on YouTube. Appreciate everyone that's been supporting. Um, Gears 5 is just like exactly what I thought it would be. It's like a, become a casual shooter that you pick up and play for an hour. Sometimes you have fun. Sometimes you don't. And it's a pick-up-and-play casual shooter that has a really hardcore audience. So it's quite jarring. Like, it's not like... I can't think of an example, but... You know, a, a game with a super casual audience, like, it would be like saying it's you're playing Rocket League, but everyone's an esports player. It's... it, Yeah, there's like... It's a niche casual community game with a hardcore niche... Community is 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 weird. It's weird. It's weird. Um, and I, can I can I say this actually? Can I say this on camera without getting cancelled or banned? Um, the new Gears developer 